Alrighty, good morning. Nick Beans here, Tennessee and Farms and Prepping. Oh, I'll even a pet chip. Uh, I'm getting ready to make some salsa. So what I have, I have my tomatoes already in hot water. Uh, did he skin them? I'll put them in the ice bath. I've got my green peppers from the garden. I got my jalapenos from the garden. Then we got one that's a little more of a kick. Red onion, garlic cloves, don't have that from the garden. Uh, there's other things you can use, but this is basically how I'm going to set it up. To make a uh, simple salsa with uh, tomatoes, onions, peppers, and some garlic for a little zing to it. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the tomatoes out of the hot water and then putting them into cold water. And this will loosen up the skin to make it easier to de-skin them. Also, if there was any bacteria or bugs or anything on the skin, that pretty much does them in too. Something you gotta be careful about is make sure you don't put too much water in there. Adding the tomatoes in there so it doesn't overflow. So that should get everything for me to loosen up the skins, which I will do later. What I'm doing now is I am kind of decoring the tomatoes and peeling them. So I'm chopping them up in the cubes. I don't need the core in there. And I like a chunky, chunky salsa. And a lot of this stuff will cook down anyway. So basically, what I don't use goes in the food bucket. The hot water makes it easier to skim. And any area of the skin won't pull off, I'll just trim out. Now you don't have to skin them. You can make salsa with the skins in it. Doesn't hurt it. But uh, taste will vary. I have made them with the skins. I have made them without. And all I need is this. Everything chopped up. put it in this pot temporarily. It may be the pot I cook everything in. I will see if I have enough room. I'll also be chopping in green peppers. And jalapenos. And I think for this we will bring out my Cutco knife. It cuts a little bit better. And we'll get everything chopped in and kind of let you see how it all looks towards the end. There's a lot of prep time in this. Uh, got the green peppers, chopping them up. I got more to chop, just kind of give you an idea. And I add this all together at the same time. Got a jalapeno. I'd save those for the last because once I chop them up, I really need to uh, wash my hands. Otherwise, I do what I did the other day and uh, rub my eye and then give everybody an evil eye. I got a sweet onion I'm going to put in there and a red onion. Like I said, anything I'm not utilizing, I just put in the old 
food bucket, and that will go out to the garden and help grow the next generation. Now, I do have red onions in the garden, but they're very small. So I just bought this one from the store. You can use a food processor. They kind of hurry up this process. But uh, half the enjoyment is in the making of the product, I always say. And I'll get more stuff put in the mix and let you know how it looks. Alrighty. So I've got a lot of the tomatoes in there, some onions. I'm going to put the rest of the peppers in. So I got green peppers in here. I got jalapeno peppers in here, and I got one other one. I got the Shiloh, so even a bit more of a kick than normal. So it'll be interesting. And I have one more ingredient to add. Well, a few more. Okay. The last thing to add in the mix, last couple things, is a heaping, heaping of red onions. some for taste. They call for more, but not that big on garlic. As for uh, almond juice, I don't have it, but I have some lime. And that's just to make it a little tart. And then, last but not least, some apple cider vinegar, not much, this is enough to kick the acidity up a little bit, then we're going to mix this all up, going to cook down a lot of the moisture. Now, if you like more tomato taste in it, all right, that's what it looks like so far, is we can add some tomato sauce. So, I've got it ready to go on the heat. Add some tomato sauce in it. Give it more of a tomato paste. Now we're going to cook it down. While I'm doing that, I'll clean up. I've got a hot water bath going here where I'm going to sterilize everything. I did put the jars in the microwave and I nuke them for a couple minutes, which will kill a lot of things too. But most of this stuff will be for pretty much immediate use. And the whole idea of making the salsa is if I didn't, uh, it would go to waste. We don't want anything to go to waste. So, next part will be me actually canning some of this off. It'll be a while, so I will pause the camera.